guys welcome back to my channel i'm going to show you how i diy my tape in hair extensions it's way cheaper than going to the salon if you go to the salon it can be like five six hundred dollars so basically all you need is really really good hair because then you can use it over and over again if you use quality hair so the reason i say to make sure you use really good hair is because then you can style it if you want when you wash it um it's going to stay really really nice and then basically as your hair grows the tape's going to grow out and when it's time to replace it all you're going to need to do is buy the tape which is really really inexpensive i got mine from irresistible me so um the next time that you redo them that's all you're going to be paying for so it's much much less money and really anybody could do it i'm not a hair professional and i do a really good job at it i think so good job Ange. <laughs> um but so if i can do it you guys can do it very easy and i chose irresistible me is because it's 100 percent human hair and what i like about them which is really really important if you guys don't know much about hair extensions i never knew this but when companies buy hair they buy it from people um in other countries these women are um selling their hair to be able to feed their families which is so so sad so what's really great about this company is that they cut out the middleman so they don't basically overcharge you and also what's great too is that they have really good respectful relationships with the people that they're buying the hair from so what i mean by that is they don't you know jip them off a lot of times companies like i don't want to say any specific names but they'll go to these people that are really less fortunate and they'll buy hair and they'll buy a lot of it and they'll pay them next to nothing which is t like so so sad and it's just so wrong and they'll just really rip them off and screw them over so what i like about this company is they're doing the right thing they're treating the people that they're buying the hair from with respect and they're paying them well too to be able to take care of their families and the hair is beautiful it's great quality i'm going to show you some of the hair right now here is the hair that i'm going to be using it's a little bit lighter than my hair my hair looks a little darker right now but in the natural sunlight this has like little specks of um, caramel type of highlights in it so it's going to blend really nice and it's going to give my hair more texture so it doesn't look so flat so if you use hair extensions that are exactly the same color as your regular hair, it's going to look really, really flat and it's not going to show the movement in your hair and it's not going to show all like the little highlights and it's not going to look super natural. It's going to look more stiff and it's going to give you that that girl got extensions in her hair and especially too if what it's going to do is when you move your hair basically if it's the exact same color it's all going to lay so you're going to be able to see where the real hair is where the fake hair is here is how long my hair is right now so i'm going to start right here at the nape of the neck and i'm going to start brick laying the tape ends in and by brick laying by brick laying, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean because I'm not going to stack them in a straight line. I'm going to put one here, put one here, put one here. So that way it just when you move, your hair moves more natural. I'm going to take this section right here. Make sure that when you put the tape in that it's not touching your scalp. You do not want it that close to where it's on top of your scalp touching your scalp. So I'm going to put it right here. Any loose hair that is not sticking just grab it so you could see put it back up in here just make sure everything is out of the way that's not sticking you don't need a full thick slice of hair in here or it's gonna look really really bulky at the end so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a next section and I know it looks kind of crazy right now but this is where a lot of people go wrong and this is where I have went wrong before where it doesn't look that natural so trust the process. Take the comb and I'm going to go I'm going to go right here like right in the middle of my earlobe right here is right around so see what I mean by Berkeley I'm putting one here and then I'm putting one more to this side but what I'm going to do differently is I'm going to make sure this one just does a nice little angle. So right here where this angle is, is where I'm going to put my next tape in.
like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. So I basically started the foundation for where I'm going to have my hair sit in. And it's also going to help with the placement of the rest of the pieces. It looks kind of funny, but right here is very um, hard because that's where your ears are, where you wear sunglasses, hat, put your hair up. So you just want to make sure that it's nice and comfortable and you're going to have more movement there. And that's why I did the... Um, angled pieces so that's like the start of the bricklay where it kind of stacks my next sandwich is going to be right here so right here i have my sandwich again this is kind of where I play with it because I don't like too much hair extensions in my head. So I went another row up. So what I did was I made another diagonal line right here. Here is my sandwich. I'm going to go over just a little bit. So I'm going to do my other sandwich right over here. That way they're not directly on top of each other. That's just going to give you more fullness. This is going to help fill in the gaps. So I'm going to do it right here. So that's going to go there. See that how that helps all the hair just blend much better, kind of moves better than just stacking it. I'm going to do the same thing on this side now. And I'm going to start working on like more of the crown of my head right up in here because this is looking pretty filled in and um, I'm going to start working up here that way I can see how much hair I have on my head and as I work up here then I can start seeing if I need more down in here just because I don't want it to be too thick. Here I'm not going to do a straight line. I'm going to do more of a little bit of an angle. I'm going to go in between the middle of these two right here and because this one's on a little bit of an angle and this one's on a little angle I'm going to make this one a little bit straighter and I'm going to come out just a little bit farther right here and that's what I mean by the brick laying. That seemed a little creepy. more of those spaces and leave it nice and natural flowy but not too thick now i'm just gonna put this top up and see basically where i'm at in the back if i want to add more if i want to fill in any more spaces if i want to leave it as in so what i'm going to focus on now is right kind of at the crown right here i'm just going to add one more i'm going to put a line here or actually, sorry, I'm going to put one more brick laid. So I have the extension here for my callus and I have one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one just a little bit higher where this one is. I'm just going to set it right here and I'm going to do it a little bit to an angle as well. So that's what it's looking like from the back so far not too bad so you don't want to get too close to like your scalp line over there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do it right here i'm going to place it right under here so you can see how much space i have like a half an inch to an inch because you don't want to place it too close to your face and again i'm going on a little bit of an angle for when i want to wear my hair up so i'm going to go right here go to a little bit of an angle and I'm going to move up a little bit. And then I just take some down because I like to see like um, where the space is. So I have a little bit of space right underneath here. So I don't do it any certain way. I kind of just always stop and then take a look what it looks like with all my hair down. And just fill in miss like missing gaps or you know. Wherever you feel like you have more thinner spots, thicker spots, things like that. Because everyone's hair is different. So where I'm putting mine, you don't necessarily have to put yours. Um, just do, like I said, the brick laying is what's most important. Is definitely not stacking them. That's where I used to go wrong. Definitely back in my college days. So 
So again, that's where I'm at. So I'm gonna see what it all looks like with the hair down. I didn't do this side yet, obviously, but a bit later is that it's like I got highlights, but I didn't ruin my hair. So, so far I really like this side. So I'm gonna go over to this side. I do like leaving a little bit of my angles in in the front because I like them to show just cause it looks a little bit more natural. So I'm gonna move to that side. So here's the back of my hair. You could see how good they move and how good they blend. The front of my hair. And this is, I haven't curled them. I haven't done anything to them. I just left them straight. Again, I haven't even like straightened my hair or anything. I love that I didn't have to color my hair at all for a change. It looks so pretty. I just love it. I feel like I'm ready for summer already. What about you guys? So yeah, I'm going to link everything below that I used. Again, I'm so happy with them. Salon quality at home, way cheaper. And you could do it yourself because I don't have time to go to the salon when I got kids. So yeah, I hope this helps you guys. I have done tape extensions so many times. This, the way that I did it right here, is what works best hands down for me. I'm actually gonna show you. I'm gonna put my hair up and show you how well. See, look, hidden. They're all hidden and that makes me so happy. So that's really important. See over here and they're nice and hidden. Yeah. Um, so again, before when I used to just stack them one on top of each other, they would show and they would flap right here. And I was like, oh, why? So this technique definitely helps. And also this technique too helps you not have to cut the hair when you stack them. Then you feel like you definitely need to cut the hair because at the ends of them, it won't flow and they'll be like completely straight. So I really hope this helps you guys. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. And I'll see you soon.